Hey, good evening. I just was thinking. I was thinking about God and Jesus. And I was thinking about how hard life is for us sometimes, you know. And, um, <clears throat> you know, if y'all ever read a Bible or any of the Bible at all, have you ever heard the story about Job? And, you know, there's people that don't believe in God and Jesus Christ. And I think that the reason they don't believe in him is because they can't see him. Uh, they can't see him. They can't touch him. They can't They can't feel him. Uh, so they don't think he exists. Well, think about the air. You can't see the air. You can't reach out and grab the air and hold on to it. You can't do that. You can smell it. You can see what the air does. But you can't see the air. You can sometimes even taste the air. And you can feel the air. But you can't see it. That's like God. And Christ Jesus. See. You can feel them. You can feel their love. You can feel them. You can feel their presence with you. But you can't see them. <laughs> You can see what they're doing around you. You can see what God does. You can see what Christ Jesus does. You can see the works he has. And all the evil that's going around us in this world. All the little good things you see. Because <laughs> Satan is so powerful. All the good things you see. That's those blessings coming down from Christ Jesus and your Heavenly Father. To let you know they're there. They're watching our backs and they got us. They're not going to let him give us no more than we can bear. They're just not going to do it. That's where the Job story comes in. Y'all remember Job? He was sitting there by a rock. He done lost all his children. They all died. All of his wives died, except for one thing. All his animals, all of his cattle, all of his sheep, whatever it was, they grew and raised back down there in the day. He lost everything. And he's sitting there with leprosy all over his body. Suffering and horrible pain. Yeah, everybody he knew told him, What have you done? What have you done to make God hurt you like this? Why don't you just turn against him and die? Just turn against him. What good is a God that would let you suffer like this? But he would not do that. My God is not doing this to me. What have I done? He was in such suffering and pain he even questioned God. Father, what have I done? What have I done to hurt you? What have I done? Please forgive me. He hadn't done nothing. That was all Satan, see. He told God he could make Job turn against him. And God told him, do your best. 
do your best. See, Job knew there's more than one God. And the God he believed in was not capable of such a thing. And he knew this. Do you know what happened? <laughs> Satan lost that battle. He did not turn against his heavenly father. What he did was he asked God for forgiveness for something he had not done. And God saved him from Satan. And he never turned against God. Because God didn't rescue him. Say, Job refused to turn on his heavenly father. He just refused to do it. And he was willing to lie down his life. To prove he knew his heavenly father was not responsible for what was happening to him. Don't ever blame your Heavenly Father for your losses in your life. Don't ever blame Him for the pain and suffering that is happening in your life. It is not our Savior that are causing these things. It is not God that is causing these things. It is not Jesus Christ that's causing these things. It is Satan Himself and the angels that were cast out of heaven upon this earth with him for disobeying their heavenly father. They're down here toying with us. They're trying to steal our souls. And there's so many of us that don't even realize what's happening and he's got us so blinded, not me no more, <laughs> mind you. <laughs> I was blinded for so many years. And I think all that suffering I went through, I'm still going through. But it's not because of God. It has brought me to where I am today. And it has made my belief in my Heavenly Father so strong. The suffering I've been through. Because I know he brought me through it. He didn't put me through it. He picked me up and carried me through it. And he's doing the same thing for each and every one of you. So I want you to thank your Heavenly Father tonight. For all your blessings. As little as they may be. Because <laughs> even if you got a little one, that means he's thinking about you. There's so many problems he's got to take care of. Sometimes it takes him a minute to get to you. Don't give up. Be like Job. Have faith and don't give up. Be sure you're worshiping the right God. Satan is very tricky. Very, very tricky. Be careful. Be very careful. Count your blessings. Don't forget to thank God for even the smallest of blessings. Amen and God bless everyone. Have a wonderful evening with your families and loved ones. Good night.